my friend Joe knows everyone's name. No, wait, don't dismiss what I just told you. I meant it quite literally. He really knows everyone's name. Not just the people he knows or people he's met, but anybody at all. Everybody. But a stranger than that, he's not carrying the knowledge around inside him. You couldn't just say, hey, Joe, what's the name of the Pennsylvania congressman from the 13th district? He doesn't know that. But if you haul that congressman in front of him, he'll instantly be able to tell you the guy's name is John. Just like that. Joe just looks at someone and he knows the person's name. Just like that. I know what you're thinking. I didn't believe it at first either, but I do now. And I'm an empirical kind of guy. I'm finishing my doctorate in physics, so I'm used to looking for explanation, seeking answers. I've asked him, I've said, Joe, how the hell do you do that? And you know what he did? He just looked at me like it was something totally normal. Like I was the strange one because I couldn't do it. We were walking down Germantown Avenue up near Chestnut Hill on our way back from lunch at a pub where they make the best hoagies in a city famous for hoagies. It was late autumn, a weekend, and I was in a great mood. My dissertation was coming along well. I'd just eaten a great sandwich with my buddy, and we tossed back a few beers, arguing the merits of various football teams. As if I needed further proof that God was in his heaven, a truly gorgeous girl walked past us. She was dressed a little too lightly for a November afternoon. You could tell she was cold with a glance at her blouse. As she slipped by, I nudged Joe, and with a nod of my head in the direction of the girl, said, Name? Emily, he said. Just like that. Well, I'm an empirical kind of guy, and you can never have too much data, and the girl, Emily, really was gorgeous, so... Emily? Is that you? The girl stopped. She turned around and looked me straight in the eye. Yes, um, hi? Joe had kept walking a pace or two, but was now stopped and staring at me as well. What the hell? Go with it, I figured. Hi, I wasn't sure it was you. You probably don't even remember me, but we met at a party last semester. I think Jennifer introduced us. Emily looked completely clueless, but still gorgeous. A sophomore, I guessed. Then she sm snotted and smiled. She had a dazzling smile. Oh, right, yeah, I remember now. Jennifer, I'd forgotten all about that party. It's been, what, ages? Joe was giving me one of his looks. One of those, I don't have any special power, but if I did, it could only be used for good looks. Defeats the whole purpose to my mind. So I wrapped it up. If I'd been by myself, I would have worked the lie a bit more and come away with Emily's phone number at the very least. Of course, if I'd been alone, I wouldn't have known her name was Emily. C'est la vie. So instead I went with, well, good seeing you again. Tell Jennifer I said hi next time you see her. And Joe and I turned around and continued walking down the street. I think Emily said bye to us, but I wasn't sure. How did you know her name was Emily? I asked as we walked. I knew he was waiting for me to ask. I always asked, and I can't help myself. I keep hoping he'll finally give me an answer instead of shrugging it off. Maybe it was the beer, maybe the hoagie. Hell, maybe it was Emily. Today, I was going to get my answer. Come on, don't be an idiot, Joe politely replied. She looks like an Emily. She looks like an Emily? Yeah, it was definitely the beer talking now. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? What about her looks like an Emily? I can think of three other girls named Emily who look nothing like that Emily. Where's the essential Emily-ness that you're seeing? Where? Joe just shrugged. He's like that. Economical. Parsimonious in everything, even his gestures. What do you want from me? She looks like an Emily. He pointed to some people paralleling us on the street on the other side of the walk. Like that guy looks like a Dave, and the woman next to him looks like an Alexandra. 
And that kid with the rollerblades looks like an Octavio. They just do. Get over it. Bullshit. No one looks like an Octavio. A Eugene, maybe. I'll give you that one. Name a kid Eugene and you'll see it on his face, in his clothes, everywhere. Maybe even a Sheldon or a Marvin. There's probably a physical law of nerdiness or some subatomic dork particle that accounts for it. Those are special cases, but that's it. The rest doesn't wash. I was ranting now, but I couldn't stop. Blame it on the beer. Nobody looks like an Octavio. And especially not that kid. Christ, Joey looks like white bread. How many blue-eyed blondes get named Octavio? Don't tell me he looks like an Octavio. There's just no way. Suspended disbelief only goes so far. I might have given you the Emily, maybe. Maybe even the Dave and the Alexandra. But you pushed it too far. That kid ain't an Octavio. Hey, kid. Yeah, rollerblader dude. What's your name? Joe is apparently tired of my doubting ways. Octavio Luis Fernando San Miguel Garcia, he called back, skating a quick loop around the couple. <laughs> Dave and Alexandra, before flashing a grin of blinding white dental work. I was pissed. I'd been set up. It hadn't been a valid test. It didn't prove anything. It reeked of experimenter bias. Joe had picked the kid out, not me. I whirled on him, ready to take up the fight once more, and stopped. There was something in his face that just made me pause. Joe's gaze was following the kid as he skated away. You know, said Joe, he looks like a Luis Fernando San Miguel, doesn't he? <laughs>